Hello, welcome to the very first episode of my podcast. Um, still currently figuring out my name for this po- for the podcast. Um, so far, I just got the Jerry podcast sense. Um, I'm mostly going to be talking most of the time. Hopefully, we get some uh, fucking guests. But uh, for now, it's just going to be me. Jerry. So yeah, man. Episode one, dude. Let's fucking get it, bro. Um, oh, shit. Got myself a nice white claw to start things off. You know, started with a bang. I'm gonna shotgun it, of course. You know, full send. Let's fucking get it. Uh, gonna be frank. This is only my like. This is my second attempt of white of shotgunning a white claw. Sort of scared, but you know, fuck it, you know. You only live once. You only live fucking once, so let's fucking do this shit. Let's fucking do it. No more being a fucking pussy. Gotta do this full send style. Alright, so last time. Last time I did a fucking shotgun, sort of fucked up. Because not only the, the white claw was super fucking cold, but. I, I just I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't fucking couldn't fucking like chuck the entire thing, but you know. Second try. Let's fucking do it. Tell it like figure out how to fucking open this. You gotta like make a triangle of some sort. Yeah. Come on now. Come on, bitch. There you go. Hopefully I got that on the mic. Get that shit right open. Let's fucking get it, dude. Hopefully that doesn't cut my lips. Alright. Fucking shotgun. Let's fucking do it. So, um, yeah. Cheers, guys. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. I did it. I fucking did it. Holy shit, I fucking did it. I, I sort of I, I sort of stopped. I needed to breathe a little bit, but I fucking did it. I finished the whole fucking can. Holy shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yes. That's how you fucking do it. That's how you shotgun, boys. Holy shit. That was scary, but I'm glad I fucking did it. Alright. Let's start out with this fucking podcast. Um, wrote some talking points. That way I won't, I won't do any uh, ums and errs, but like, bear with me here. Bear fucking with me. Uh, my first talking point should be uh, Jackass movie. Dude. That shit was fucking funny. That shit was funny, dude. Jackass forever. If you guys haven't seen it, I, I highly recommend watching the movie. Like I haven't laughed in a long time. But dude, beautiful fucking movie, beautiful stunts. You know, got new people there. Uh Eric Andre was there, fucking uh Tyler the Creator. Shit was fucking amazing, bro. Oh my god. Like when I was growing up, I'm, I'm like, I was a huge fan of fucking Jackass, dude. Fucking Ben Margero and Johnny Knoxville, Ryan Dunn. Like, e- everybody. Fucking Wee Man. Like, I love them all, bro. Like, hang on. Let me, sh- let me show you something. Let me show you something. Just, just, just to prove it to you guys. I got a fucking Jackass the Movie Special Collector's Edition signed by the one and only... Steve-O, bro. That's fucking awesome. My my girlfriend got this for me. I'm so fucking grateful. She knew I was a jackass man. She was like, you know what? Let me get this signed copy of fucking... It's not a copy. It's 
Oh, he's not a fucking copy. There's like the certificate of authenticity. Authenticity. I, I don't know how to say that. Un un authenticity. Shit. Still having trouble fucking pronouncing that term. That word. Because uh, when I was like fucking 14, I had a massive, app, massive overbite. Like massive, like I'm talking about SpongeBob SquarePants type overbite. It was it was terrible, and yeah, I had to get braces, and now I have like a lisp, I have like Bart Simpson lips. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. But yeah, I'm fucking jackass, dude. I fucking highly recommend you guys watching that movie. It's fucking beautiful, beautiful fucking movie. I I just. It's fucking beautiful. Speaking of none other movies, Batman, the Batman. I haven't seen the Batman yet. Uh, hopefully, I can see it tomorrow or like uh, probably like on a Saturday or shit. Because you know, like when it came out and I was trying to like actually like watch it with my girl, like the seats were like full, like air, full. Like when I tried to order to get the tickets, they're like, nope, sorry, it's full, sorry. It's kind of sad, but, you know, that's how it is when it comes to, like, movies like that. Like, especially Batman, dude. It's, it's fucking Batman. Like, and uh, apparently, um, from what I heard, it's, like, this is where, like, he actually, like, started, you know, becoming, like, the Batman. So, like, there's going to be, like, shit, like, scenes where, like, he's scared, but he's, like, I got to do this, man. I, like, I'm fucking Batman. Like, I have to do it. Like, I can't wait to see that shit, you know. Like, Batman being actually scared. Like, dude, that's fucking, that's scary. That's literally scary because, like, it's it's Batman. Like, Batman's never scared, but apparently in this movie he is. But like, he still does his shit. He he still does his 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 job as a as a vigilante. It's fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. But yeah, like, hopefully I get to see that see the movie soon, because uh, the Penguin, um, the Riddler. And I believe the Joker, I believe the Joker's in there, someone in there. I think, I've heard Jared Leto was playing as Joker again. But, like, he's more of, like, emo, goth-looking type Joker. <laughs> like, he's trying so hard to be, like, Heath Ledger. No one can be, like, Heath Ledger. Like, that's a whole nother league right there. But, yeah. Hopefully, I can, I can watch that fucking movie. Fuck yeah. So, uh... My next talking point is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, drinking, fucking drinking. I, as I did like a few minutes ago, I just shotgun White Claw. Um, I recently just turned 21, like, uh, December. So like, you know, I'm, I'm experimenting, experimenting here and there with, uh, with alcohol. Uh, so far at White Claws, White Claws is my under fucking delicious. It's like a health, healthy seltzer. Um, I've been dabbling with, uh, also sake. Sake is pretty fucking good, especially when you have that, you know, like hot, like fucking hot sake is delicious. It gets you right, you know, makes you fall asleep. Makes you fall asleep. It's fucking awesome. I love sake. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. Just White Claws and sake. Uh, tried this other drink called Monoko's. My friend, uh, um, Introduce you to Monoko's. It's like a, it's like a cocktail. Uh, had what was it called? Blue Rush, Blue Crush. The flavor was. It was fucking delicious, dude. It was like I felt like I was drinking the, the Fortnite, uh, Fortnite jug. You know what? That shit you drink to get the shield. Literally felt like that because like when I was pouring that, pouring it into like a, to a glass with ice, like it was blue, it was like the Fortnite jug, jug chug, chug chug or whatever it's called. It's fucking delicious, man. Fucking delicious. Um, yeah. Fucking chug jug. <laughs> as well as, uh, I've been trying to, um, I've been trying to get my hands on some Trulies as well. It's a, I think it's a seltzer or like some sort of fruit juice. I think it's similar to White Claws, but, um, fucking fruit juice. Yeah, I look, like, I looked at the box. I, I, I just not. Yeah, I'm just not intrigued to, like, buy the box. But I, I am. I'm sort of am. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Damn. But, yeah.
but yeah, I am I am going to get some Trulies and like fucking try it. Try some Trulies because I've heard I've heard they're, they're, it's good. I've heard it's like str actually stronger than uh White Claws, but who fucking know? I I don't fucking know. But yeah, drinking. It's fucking it's hell of a time. Hell of a time. Let's fu let's fucking open another white claw. I'm not gonna shotgun him, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open a fucking white claw. You know. You know fuck it. You know. Uh, right now I'm trying a uh, blackberry. I never tried blackberry actually. This is a a whole new case of white claws. Never tried these variety of flavors. Uh, we have strawberry, mango, black cherry, and uh, pineapple. I can't wait to try pineapple. Pineapple sounds promising. But like so far, I kind of focus with blackberry. Blackberry is pretty it's decent. But yeah, twenty twenty one is awesome, man. Cause like. You're you're a full. You're not like a fully an adult, but like you're an adult now. Um, in my book, being a full full adult is like you know actually like having a house, a car, a dog. Yeah, that's 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 in my book though. Like, what it takes to be a full fledged adult is like actually like owning a house and like paying bills and shit. But for me, I just turned twenty one. I'm still living in my mom's house, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. You know, just chilling. I'm just chilling, you know, fucking chilling. It's fucking awesome. Being 21 is fucking awesome. Like once, once you turn 21, man, I highly recommend getting, getting yourself some white claws, shotgunning that shit and just have a good time with some friends. You know, it's fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. Um, you know, I'm talking about uh, freaking drinking. Uh, let's talk about fucking my YouTube content. Fuck yeah, let's talk about my YouTube. So, fucking, uh, I forgot, I forgot what, uh, fucking dumb right here. Let me, let me, let me pull it up actually real quick. My YouTube channel. The, the one with the, yeah, how to play 2019 guy from The Gentleman. When I, when I was making that video, dude, I didn't know what to expect. I thought, hey, you know, like, this is a good fucking song. I feel like people should learn how to play this song by the gentleman. And yeah, dude, it's just, it's just like, it just fucking blew up to like 3K views, man. I was like, holy shit. Holy fucking shit. 3K fucking views, dude. And like, it, like the video, it, it, it was crap. It was crappy. It was a crappy ass video, but yet it got three fucking three K views, dude. I, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not really I'm not really good with when it comes to like teaching guitar because I didn't I don't know how to fucking I don't know anything about like fucking uh chord progression. I know I know somewhat about tabs, you know, playing with tabs and shit, you know, the, the zero, one, two, three shit. You know, basically the ones you see at TikTok. Not the ones you see at TikTok, but like, you know what I mean, fucking tabs. And yeah, I, I didn't expect that shit to like blow up. I was like, holy shit. You know, because they they already did like a playthrough of the song, like on the the gentleman channel, I believe it was called. Uh shit, I forgot his name that actually like made the uh you know the um the music. Uh, I forgot his name. He wears he wears like a like a cap, like it's like spin, it's like like a like like a badass. But shit, I forgot his name. You should probably research that soon. But yeah, man, I, I didn't I didn't expect that shit to blow up because you know like I, I fucking suck. I fucking suck when it comes to uh, teaching the guitar, you know, because I don't know which string is number one. And like which string is number six, you know? Like I, I just, I just fucking play, dude. I just fucking play guitar because you know it feels good. You know, it, I'm passionate about it. Like it makes me. So it's it's basically my outlet, you know. Like when I get angry or like sad, like I just get on the guitar and just start playing. You know, that's 
that's what most people need nowadays is like a passion or like something that will like forget about you know having like a bad day or just you know just feeling sad you know or just you know have a hobby you know like it could be it could be anything you know like video games fucking reading like instruments like exercise like it could be fucking anything man just like so it's so beneficial when it comes to like having a passion because that shit gets you through some tough shit you know it's fucking awesome uh, speaking of fucking gym, you know, I've been going to the gym as well, you know, been getting them gains. Uh, signed up for a, a membership for uh, my gym. And uh, so far, so fucking good, you know, I'm making progress. I'm making fucking progress, you know. Uh, like, you gain some muscle. I don't know if y'all can see this, but like... Fuck. Look at that. I never had, I never had that line. I mean, I did, but like... It's like, mm. there, like, look at that. It's fucking awesome, bro. Not only that, I'm, I, I got a fucking six pack, dude. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, sh I'm not gonna show it to you guys because you know I'm still self conscious about my body. But I got a six pack. I'm just telling the truth. I'm like, I got a six pack. So I'm not gonna show it right now, but you know, I got just, just know I have a six pack and it's fucking amazing. I, I still need to get it a little bit more toned. A little, a little more, a little more stronger, but you know it's it's fucking there, dude. It's fucking there. Like it's all about par progress. That that's the, that's the, like that's the best part when it comes to like fitness. Is you know it's all about the progress. It's it's, a, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. You know, like that's what's that's what's so cool about you know working out. It's like seeing the progress you make. You know, seeing your goals like achieve. You know, like gaining that six pack or like lifting 150 pounds or like some shit. But yeah, that's that's what's so fucking cool about like fitness. It's just like you just you just get in there, you fucking do it. Like your your body will get right. Not only that, your mind, your mind will get it right. It will, you will get it right because you know, like it's like it's you know, like I said, it's a it's a passion as well as an outlet, you know. So it's, it's a good fucking outlet, you know. Working out is fucking awesome. But yeah. Um let me drink some more right claws here. <sighs> so fucking good, dude. So fucking dude. So fucking good. So fucking good. I, I like black cherry. I, I feel I feel like black cherry is gonna be like my go to white claw. Probably not. I, I'm thinking mango or pineapple because that's tropical right there. It's fucking awesome. Tropical. Tropical. Yeah, buddy. But yeah, man. Work out, man. Like, working out, good, good fucking thing to do. Especially, like, like in the, in the springtime, summertime. It's going to be fucking amazing. I'm sort of sweating here. Like, I don't know if y'all could see that, but... I think I'm sort of sweating. It's kind of hot in my fucking room. I have a really small fucking room. My room is really fucking small. Like, it's, it's literally a square. My room is literally a square, bro. Like, if my room was like origami, you can, you can make a fucking paper crane. It's literally a fucking square. It's like, it's, my room is a square. It's fucking, but you know, it's fucking awesome. You know, I made it, I made it cool. You know, have nice, have a nice futon behind me. You know, that way I could just chill. And then I have a loft bed. So not only I have a futon, but now I have a fucking loft bed. I could just sleep up. And I'll be closer to the fan. And you know, that shit's breezy at night. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> but yeah. It's fucking hot in here. God damn. I don't know if I'm like... Nah. Can't be the anxiety. I don't have any anxiety. I'm fucking chilling, dude. Fucking chilling. All right, so let's go. To, let's go to the next talking point. Um, funny life stories. Uh, this happened recently though. Like this, this, this story happened very recently. Okay, so it was late at night. Let's say like around 12, 12 a.m. That's that's the time I usually go to the gym. You know, get that shit, get that shit done. 
with my brothers. Um, yeah, so we went to the gym. We got our shit done. And then on our way back, like on our way back to like the house, we saw, I saw a fucking, we saw a fucking ATM. Not like the, like, not the one you find at the fucking like Bank of America, but we're talking about like, like a convenience store wise, like a, like an actual like ATM. I found that shit in front of my house, like the top part, like the computer part. That shit was fucking in the middle of the road. There was a broken ATM machine in front of my fucking house. I was like, what the fuck? Who who put this here? Like this broken ATM in front of my house. Mind you, like I was at the gym about like two hours tops. So it was like two o'clock when we got back to my house. And then we saw the fucking broken ATM as well as a walkie talkie. Like we saw an ATM and a fucking walkie talkie right there in front of my fucking house. And then, uh, yeah, we went, we, we got out of the car and then we, we were examining that shit. And, like it was just like parts of like the ATM, like no money. There were some like receipts right there, like some paper and a walkie talkie. I was like, dude, this shit was happening during my, my workout. Like when we left, I feel like that's when they were starting to do it because an ATM, dude, that shit, not only that shit is heavy, but that shit's like, like security locked. Like it's, it's, it's in there. Like the money's like in there. Like you have to use like crowbars. You got to use fucking either like explosives or some shit, but I don't, I don't think they'll use explosives because you know, that will fucking ruin the cash. But you have you have to like put in work in, in in order to get that ATM out, and a few days later, like uh, my local news was like, yeah, like uh, this, this convenience store just got fucking robbed, because like oh my god, there's, they're 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 really, really asking for it. I'm not gonna lie, they're really asking for it. They're really asking for it because the ATM was literally like in front was in front of the fucking door it was like right beside the door like where you fucking go in and exit it was it was right there it's like really next to the exit they were asking for it to get robbed they were really asking for it so the way they did it was they ram their their truck into like the the doors they, they just rammed that shit into the fucking doors got a chain wrapped it around the atm connected to the to the truck and just yanked that shit they literally just yanked it out of the fucking store and like they hoisted it up broke some parts and left it in front of my house <laughs> literally left it in front of my fucking house you know just like the fucking computer. I'm like, God damn, dude. But yeah, like that shit was fucking crazy. Cause like I go to that store a lot, you know? And not only that, I was trying to apply there. Like I was trying to apply there. Cause you know, it's, it's, it's close. It's close to my house. I can just like walk there and dude, that shit was wild. That shit was fucking wild. You know, it was literally in front of my house. People could have got put people people would have got fucking hurt because it was like in the middle of the road, like the fucking yellow lines. It was literally right there, right right slap dab in the middle. It was right fucking there. And people could have gotten hurt because if they wouldn't if they wouldn't see that fucking broken ATM, they would have fucking crashed to a tree. They would have swerved off the road and like injuries could have happened. I didn't want to move it as well as like the walkie talkie because you know that that's fucking evidence, dude. Like I'm not I'm not trying to tamper with fucking evidence because you know like I'm pretty sure police are gonna need that to you know to capture the criminals. So like I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna touch this. Neither did my brothers. They didn't want to touch it because you know tamper with evidence. So we were just like, fuck it, just call it a night. You know, let's see what. 
Let's see what they do. And I stayed up for a little while just looking at the ATM in front of my house. I was just looking in front of my window. Like, when when are they going to come and fucking move this shit? Because, like, it was there for, like, a good, like, four hours, five hours. Like, ever since, like, the robbery happened. And, like, dude, that shit was fucking crazy, man. That shit was fucking crazy. Like, fun, like wild, most wild night I ever had, you know? It's fucking amazing. But, yeah, this fucking crazy life story right there. Um, have another crazy life story. Okay. So... During the um, coronavirus pandemic, uh, I went to uh, L.A., Los Angeles. I went to fucking L.A., dude. And that was my, like, whole dream, bro. Like, ever since I saw, like, uh, Drake and Josh go to go to L.A., that that movie where they had to um, fucking save Megan because, like, she got the wrong plane ticket and shit. And they went to L.A. to, like, go find her and shit. And then they get involved with, like, criminals, like, making fake money and all that. Dude, when I saw that movie, I was like, bro, I have to go there. I literally have to go to L.A. I have to. I literally have to. So, um, basically, so I was trying to go around, yeah, like, summer during the pandemic. And I was literally, like, very fucked up on mushrooms. I was taking, like, mushrooms, like, every single day and like, capsule form. So, like, two grams of mushrooms every morning. Like, I would take that shit, like, when, like as vitamins. And when the day came, um, when my friend was trying to pick me up... Uh, to go to the airport, I was like, nah, bro, I can't, I can't fucking go. Like, I, I can't fucking go. Like, it's like, I, I'm not ready. I'm not fucking ready to go. And, you know, it was, it was pretty sad, you know, because, you know, I, it was my dream. He knew it was my dream to go to fucking LA, but like, I was just too fucked up on rooms. So I was like, fuck dude. Like I, I, I can't go. And then, you know, like, uh, like, a few months has passed and, you know, I, I got off the shrooms, you know, I was like on a shroom craze because, you know, I thought, you know, people are dying right now. Might as well do some little psychedelics, you know, just to pass the time. <laughs> Might as well do some, do something to pass the time with this fucking pandemic. So I did that. My dumb ass. I also did LSD. I, I have not mentioned that. I also did fucking LSD. Not with mushrooms, but like, just like the one time because... I thought, hey, people are dying, the world might end, might as well do some psychedelics. But yeah. So like, yeah, I had to cancel my fucking ticket and shit because I was just too fucked up on mushrooms. Like I couldn't, I couldn't like fucking communicate. Like I was just so fucked up. Like I was seeing demons and shit. So I was like, yeah, I just, I need a break. I need a fucking break off of this mushrooms. Like... Right now, like, I I think I could do mushrooms again. I just need to take, like, little dosage. But I don't think I'll be taking mushrooms anytime soon. Especially as well as LSD. Because, you know, I, I had my fill. Like, I took LSD three times my entire life. And it helped me. It literally helped me through a lot. But, yeah, back to, yeah, back to LA. So, I canceled my ticket few months has passed and my friend he wanted to go there again so i was like okay now this time i'm ready because i'm, I'm not on shrooms i'm chilling I, i'm good to go so fucking i got I, I got a ticket again we went there and it was fucking wild fucking wild let me tell you okay so first day we landed. We were trying to get a rental car, but we couldn't because none of us were fucking 21 at the time. So it was like, they can't lend you a car if you're like under 21 or like, haha, no, you can't. It's just, it's, it's part of law. You can't, you can't have a car under 21, which kind of sucked. But, you know, we kind of saved a little bit of money because, you know, like, fuck yeah. 
And uh, yeah, we uh, we drove to our hotel with an Uber because we couldn't couldn't get the car. Like we landed and then we went straight to the fucking uh, rent a car place, but we couldn't, so we had to Uber to our fucking hotel. And yeah, man, our Uber driver was fucking awesome, dude. Like he was like, yeah, you know, welcome to L.A. You know, like there's some cool places y'all should visit, like this mall. You know, there's some good, good food. The food was fucking amazing, bro. Especially like uh, food trucks, like tacos and shit. Fucking amazing, dude. Like I can live off fucking food truck food, like my life, because it's just fucking, it's fucking good. It's made with love, bro. That shit's made with love. Like when it comes to food trucks. But yeah, like um Joe drove to our hotel. It was a, uh, it was me, uh this guy, these two and these two other guys. Um I'm not gonna say their names because you know I'm more to protect their uh their you know their identities and whatnot, but like yeah, it was me and these two two of my friends, my good friends. And uh yeah, dude, we just went in a hotel, we booked in and uh, one of my friends, he took out LSD tabs. He had three LSD tabs. And I'm like, bro, I'm not taking that shit. I am not taking that shit again, dude. Man, Leary brings out three LSD tabs. I'm like, bro, I already had my fill. Like, LSD, I, I, like, I already did it. I already experienced it. I'm not... Like, I, it was good. It was a good trip. Like, I had... Two good trips and one bad trip. But yeah, like I had my fill. Like I, I had my fill of LSD. So I'm like, no, bro. I actually want to remember this. I actually want to remember this fucking like scenery and all that. Because, you know, it's fucking LA. It's like, it's my dream come true, bro. It's literally my dream come true. And so, yeah. He, didn't, he brought all the three LSD times. He didn't take them yet. You know, he, he just he was just like showing it off, you know. Showing off them drugs. And, um, yeah, we just walked around. We went, to, uh, we were, like, around Santa Monica, dude. And, like, Santa Monica was, like, fucking beautiful, man. Fucking beautiful, dude. Only problem I had with L.A. was, like, you know, the, the homelessness. You know, I feel like they could do better, you know, to, like, treat homeless people. You know, like, yeah, like, when you go down to, like, the, uh, to the Santa Monica Beach, you just see, like, tents. And whatnot. And yeah, like, uh, we were walking down to, uh, Santa Monica, and, like, um, <laughs> there was this one guy, like, he was in his underpants, he was just, like, he was just, like, vibing, dude. He was just, he was just fucking dancing. I'm like, bro, I, I wish, like, I wish I was like that right now. And then my friend was all like, bro, then take the LSD. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, sir. No, sir, I'm... I'm 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 sticking to the weed, man. But yeah, like past that guy, we went to the beach. Beautiful fucking scenery, like fucking beautiful beach, man. It's just so fucking calming, so fucking beautiful. And yeah, you know, like we walked around. We went to the uh, to the pier, the Santa Monica Pier, and like, dude, fucking amazing, bro. Like we we saw the water, it's just like crashing, and all that. We saw the mountains. It's fucking amazing, man. Like I, like, I almost cried. I almost fucking cried because that's how beautiful it fucking was. I'm like, holy shit, bro. This, this is LA. Like, holy fucking shit. And yeah, man. Beautiful fucking time. And when we, we were walking back to our hotel, we were, we were going to get yogurt. We were going to get some fucking yogurt. And like, we saw this homeless man. We saw this fucking homeless man. He was like. He was walking, let me, let me show you right now. He was walking like this, like he had something, like he has something in his pants. Like he was walking like that. And then he was like, why, like he probably had a cramp or something. So like, that's what we figured. But like when we, when we saw it, like what was behind him, it was just like poop everywhere. It was poop everywhere, man. It's a lot of fucking poop. Like, it was, like, dribbling down his pants. It was, like, a, a shitload. It was a shitload of poop. I don't know what this man ate, bro, but I felt so bad. I felt so fucking bad, dude. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, you need to get that shit checked out, man. Like, 
damn, bro. And like, I was thinking like, if I was him, bro, like I would, I would do everything I fucking can to like cover it, man. Cause like, it was just sad, man. It was just, it was just sad. Like he, he was having, it looked like he was having a bad day. Obviously he was having a bad day. Dude got like poop dripping down his fucking pants. But like, dude, I just felt so fucking bad. I just felt so fucking bad that he had like poop in his pants. But it was kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of funny because the way he was walking, <laughs> the way he was walking, it was like, like, bro, he had poop in his pants, bro. Like, it was a weird walk. And so, yeah, like, we went, we didn't went back to the hotel. We went, we went to the fucking taco place. It wasn't a taco place, it was a food truck. We got some good fucking food. We went, as well as this, uh, shit, I forgot what it was called. But it's like a smoke shop, and they sell exotic, like, snacks. Like, snacks that, like, you can only find in, like, Japan or, like, some other country. And mind you, dude, that shit was fucking expensive. Like, 30 bucks. It was 30 bucks to get this, like, the size of this White Claw. 30 bucks for, like, a can of Fanta, bro. It was, like, a peach Fanta. 30 fucking bucks, dude. Holy shit. Like, LA is pretty, but it's fucking expensive, dude. Like, you gotta be mindful of, like, what you buy, because that shit's fucking expensive, dude. And, yeah, like, we got some exotic snacks. I got, like, the Fanta Peach. I got these Cheetos, like, hamburger flavor. And then these Pringles. I forgot what flavor these Pringles were. I think it was, like, I don't know, like, it wasn't exotic, really. It was literally, like, cheese-flavored Pringles. But, you know, I got it because, you know, like, you can never go wrong with fucking Pringles. Especially when you're high on marijuana. Especially when you're high on marijuana. I forgot to mention that, like, yeah, we went to the dispensary as well to get some, like, weed. Because over there is fucking, like, get fucking weed, man. Like, you're in L.A. We got some fucking weed. We went to back to our hotel. And, yeah, we were just vibing, man. We were just fucking vibing. And then that's when my friend... He took out the LSD tabs again. He was like, all right, it's time. It's fucking time. I'm like, time for what? He was like, some LSD, bro. I'm like, yeah, you know me. I'm not, I'm not taking that shit, man. I'm not, I'm not fucking taking it. Like, that's, it's fucking insane. So he takes his tab. My, my other friend, it was his first time. It was his first time taking LSD. So he takes it, obviously, because, you know, you only live fucking once, dude. You only live fucking once. Like, fucking do it. So he takes his tab. And they were literally trying to provoke me to take the other tab, the last tab. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, I'm good. I want to remember this. Plus, I I, got, I want to take care of you guys. I'm like, I, I guys want, I want to be like the shaman, you know, during your trip. Because, you know, I've, I've, I've been there. Like, I've, I've seen I've seen demons and shit. Like, it's not fun. It's really not fun. Like, my demons. Like, you don't see demons when you're on LSD. Like, to me, like, there's no such thing as a bad trip. You see what you have to see. You, you, you see what you have to see. Like, there's no bad trip. Like, it, a trip is a trip. Like, it could be good. It could be bad. Like, whatever. Like, anything goes. So, yeah. They take their tabs. It was, like, say, like, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Like, around that time, it was night. Vibing, we're smoking, just chilling. And then, like, um, yeah, my my friend, the one that, like, his first time, like, taking the, the tab, like, he was starting to, like, you know, trip out a little bit. And mind you, when someone's on LSD, never, never, ever in a million years ever tell them, are you okay? Because one, obviously they're not gonna obviously they're not gonna be okay. They're on fucking they're on a fucking psychedelic, dude. They're not okay. They're on drugs. Obviously they're not okay. <laughs> so that's literally the number one rule of LSD. Never ever tell somebody, Are you okay? Because if you tell them that, they're going to get into a trance. That's what I like to call it. They're going to get into a trance where they're going to ask up, ask themselves, "Am I okay? Like, like, am I fucking okay? Like, is like, am I okay? You know, like, 
is my shit straight? You know, it, it, it was like, is my life like good? Basically like that. They will get into that trance. And yeah, it, it's, it's health. It's, it's literally health. So that's what my friend did to my other friend that I was experiencing for the first time. He said, hey, dude, are you okay? And then my friend, he just like, he was just like staring like a, like, like he's just like, the 50 yard stare, you know, what soldiers get, like when you get like PCSD or some shit. Yeah, he was just like out of it. And, you know, me being the shaman, I was like, you're doing fucking good. You're fucking awesome. Like you're, you're fucking awesome, bro. Like you're, you're, you're doing this right, bro. Like, like I'm encouraging him. Like I'm making him like feel that uplifting euphoria when you're on LSD like that, that euphoria. Because, like, the peak hasn't, like, happened yet. Like, they only took it, like, a few hours. When you take LSD, dude, it takes, like, 12 hours. It's 12 hours of a trip. So, like, it's only, like, the first few hours. Like, they haven't reached the peak yet. Like, they were just, like, getting amped up. So, like, me being the shaman, I'm like, you're doing okay, bro. You're fucking awesome. Like, you're fucking amazing. guy. You're good looking, bro. Like, like encouraging him, like, giving him positive vibes and shit. Like, while I was rolling up some blunts and, you know, just watching some family guy. Because, you know, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to see what he was seeing. So, I was just, like, chilling, just smoking some blunts. You know, and then, like, a, a few hours passed. You know, my, my friend, like, fell asleep. Like, the one that, like, did that his sleep, like, four times, I believe. Did that shit four times. So, he, he, already, he already ridden the horse. So, like, he fell asleep. Like, he was knocked. Like, he was, he was having good dreams, bro. But my other friend... Like, we had to share a bed. We had to share a fucking bed because it was just two beds. And, like, uh, my other friend is, like, he's pretty big. <laughs> but he had it. He had his own bed. You know, even, like, also as well as, like, he, he paid most mostly for the room. So, like, you know, he deserved his own bed. But, yeah. Like, the fr like my friend, like, sleeping next to me, he, he, he stares at me. And then, like, he looks at me dead in the eyes. He's like, am I alive, Jerry? Am I alive? And I responded to him like, "Yes, you're alive. You're here. You're, you're fucking here, man. You're, you're, you're in L.A., bro. You're alive, bro. You're breathing. You're alive, bro. Like you're fucking, you're here, man. You're in this moment, bro. Like, like, just enjoy it, man. Like, just enjoy the ride, you know. Like, giving him that, that vibe, you know. And he was like, okay, okay, and then." <laughs> A few minutes passed. A few, few fucking minutes passed. He stares at me again. He's like, Am I alive, Jerry? Am I alive? I look at him again. I'm like, Yes. You're here. You're fucking alive. You know, I gave, I gave him the words again. You're fucking alive. You know, I also gave him breathing techniques as well. Like, like meditation techniques. You know, the... <sighs> You know, that type of breathing, you know, like, you're alive, man. You're fucking here. Like, you're, you're living this fucking moment. Another few minutes pass. He asked me the same fucking question. Am I alive, Jerry? Am I alive? I'm like, dude, yes. You're alive. You're here. <laughs> like, I gave him the same fucking answer. You're alive. You're here. You're, you're doing it. And mind you, this is this only, it's only been like, Two, two, three hours, two to three hours of like taking his tab, and like he was already like seeing shit. I don't know what he was seeing, but like it was I don't fucking know, I don't fucking know. And so, a few hour, a few minutes pass. He he keeps asking me the same fucking question. Am I fucking alive? I'm like, yes, bro, you're alive. You're here. And it was around. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. <laughs> and then he looks at me. <laughs> he looks at me. He's like, okay, I want it to stop now. <laughs> he's like, I want this to stop now. I'm like, bro, you, you can't stop it. You have like, you have like eight hours to go, bro. Like nine to eight hours to go. Like you can't stop it. Once you take the tab, bro, you already signed up. You already signed up to Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, bro. You already fucking signed up. He already signed up what, what was going to happen. So I told him that. And I, I guess that sort of freaked him out. 
and I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm here trying to like calm him down and whatnot, you know, I'm like, bro, you're doing good, man, like, you're, you're doing fucking great, like, you're fucking here. Four o'clock comes around, and Stu's, Stu's hungry. I don't know how he's hungry, bro. I don't know how this man was hungry, because when I was on LSD, bro, I wasn't, I wasn't hungry at all, bro. I was just like, I was, I was sweaty, but I'm not hungry. He was sweaty as well, like, um, I forgot to mention, like, there was this, like, he was trying to, like, open the balcony, and, like, me and my friend, we thought he was trying to, like, jump off, like, the fucking balcony, because we were, like, we were, like, five, like, ten stories high in this hotel. And, like, we thought he was trying to, like, you know, fucking jump off the fucking balcony, but, man. Turns out he was just trying to get some air, because, you know, like, when you're on LSD, it's, like, it gets fucking high. Like, the temperature is just... It gets fucking crazy. So, yeah, that shit happened. And after that, he wanted some fucking... Like I said, he wanted some fucking breakfast. And so, he was like, yeah, let's go get some breakfast, guys. You know, I'm, I'm fucking starving. And we were like, bro, you can't have some breakfast right now. Like, everything's closed. Like, the the hotel we had, it was a... The hotel we were in, like, it had a constant black... Constant... Constant parent... Fuck. Constant parent breakfast. Fuck. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know how to say that. They had free breakfast, basically. And that shit is not open till 7. And it's, and it's like 3, 4 o'clock in the fucking morning. And we we're telling him, bro, it's closed. There's nothing there. Like we can't get breakfast because there's no, there's, there's no fucking breakfast at this time. And like we had to like we had to like barricade, like we had to like block him, like the door and shit, like <laughs> the fucking exit because he this dude really wants breakfast. He, he wanted he wanted to have some breakfast, man. But we just we just wouldn't let him, you know, because <laughs> it wasn't the time. And so after that, after that, after that shenanigan, like he, he came down to his senses and he was just like, dude, I'm just fucking stoned, man. I'm just fucking, I'm just high as shit. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, welcome. Welcome to the LSD plane, man. Welcome. And so, yeah, I, I just basically like, you know, I just stayed up all night, you know, just watching over him, like giving him water, you know, providing him with the necessi necessities like he needed. You know, I was just, I was being, like, a, a good shaman, man. I, I say I was a pretty good shaman, you know, because, like, he didn't freak out, freak out, like, ah, ah, the force mine. Like, like, thinking, like, the world is ending and shit. Like, he was just, like, he was tripping, you know, stripping. But, yeah, man, like, next day, he woke up. He had that afterglow. He was feeling all right. But, yeah, that was, that was fucking L.A. for you. And, you know, afterwards, we went out, got some In-N-Out burgers, walked around fucking uh, Hollywood Boulevard, dude. Hollywood Boulevard, man. It was fucking amazing, bro. It was literally a dream come true. Like, Hollywood Boulevard, man. I saw Johnny Depp's star. I saw the Hollywood sign. Like, it was just fucking amazing, bro. It was fucking amazing. Beautiful, beautiful time I had, man. L.A., like... If that's your dream, like, if you have a destination you want to go, fucking go there, dude. Like, fuck the pandemic. Fuck coronavirus. I mean, not fuck coronavirus. Obviously, like, get vaccinated first. Um, I wasn't vaccinated when I went there. I, I was just like, fuck it. Let's just, let's just do it. But don't, don't follow my footsteps. Get vaccinated first and then travel. Especially if you're going to, like, third world countries, get vaccinated as you know, that shit's, shit's fucking, like, wild. Like, I had COVID just, like, a few months ago, like, around, like, January or some shit. Like, I had COVID. That shit was terrible. Like, I had, like, a, like, I was at work, and I just, like, got, like, this massive headache, and then that massive headache turned to a fever, and that shit was fucking terrible, and I was at work when that shit happened. So I had to call off, went home, and I just felt, I just felt sick. And then after those two weeks of like quarantining, I went to the to the fucking hospital and they were like, yeah, you have fucking COVID, dude. But that was basically, it was already over, but I, I still had like, I guess the, like the virus, I guess. I wasn't feeling anything, but apparently I, I still had the virus. So I quarantined myself a little bit more to make sure everything's all good. And yeah, you know, got vaccinated. 
I'm fucking fine. I'm fucking here. I'm making this podcast. Drink some more rock claws, guys. <sighs> yeah, man. Fucking LA. LA was fucking awesome, man. Oh, that's fucking cool, dude. It's fucking cool. It's an awesome message. Uh, let's see uh, my other talking points here. Um, I guess I don't have any more. I guess I could just like chill now, you know? Like just whatever goes in my fucking head. Um, yeah, speaking of fucking drugs and shit, like, like I said, the only drugs I even took was like mushrooms, LSD, weed, and alcohol so far. Um, I've been trying to get my hands on some, uh, DMT because the way Mike Tyson describes DMT, dude, it makes me want to fucking take that shit, bro. Like the toad, dude. Like I want, I want to try the toad, but, uh, nah, I don't think, I don't think I'll ever find it. Cause I, I think it's a, it's a rare, it's a very rare drug, very fucking rare to get. And, uh, yeah. Fucking DMT, dude. Like, uh, been trying to look for it. Can't look for it. Very rare drug. Like, LSD shrooms. Pretty easy to find once you, like, know people. But, like, DMT, you're gonna have to, like, go to, like, the Amazon or some shit to, like, find it. Or, like, go to Darknet to get your hands on some DMT. But I'm not trying to do that shit. I'm just gonna wait till, like, it comes to me. <laughs> But yeah, man. This has been like uh, this. It's been a pretty good fucking podcast. It's only almost in fucking hour. I got like eight minutes left. Nine minutes. Fucking awesome, dude. Fuck yeah, man. Like I, I came here, fucking shy, had a shitload of anxiety. But I was just, I was just like, fuck it. Let's just do it, man. Let's just fucking do this. You know, just fucking do this podcast. You know. It's fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. It's a good fucking feeling once you, like, get over that fear. Like, once you get rid of, like, fear, like, once you have that acceptance, like, you're just, you're just fucking falling in, dude. But yeah, man, like, it's been, I feel like this has been a pretty productive podcast, you know, for, like, one person. It's been fucking awesome, bro. Cheers, guys. I also got a vape fucking puff bar. <sighs> it's actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's apple ice. Uh, I never tried this flavor. Last flavor I had was like tangerine. That shit was disgusting. It was like too strong. But like this, this goes me smooth. This shit's fucking smooth. I don't recommend smoking nicotine or like smoking in general. Like it fucks you up. But then again, you only live once. Haha. <laughs> only live once, man. Like we need, we need to bring back fucking YOLO, bro. You only live once. Like make the best of it, bro. Make the best of it. Because when like not every day is a promise, you know. Gotta gotta fucking just gotta just get in there, man. Just fucking get in there. Like whatever you wanna do, whether it's like an art or like something, like just fucking do it, man. Like not like fucking Nike, bro. Like just do it. <laughs> just fucking do it, man. But yeah, like this this has been the Jerry Podcast. Still coming up with the name, but hopefully could come up with something like better or something more catchier. Like the Joe Rogan experience. That's fucking cool, dude. Hot boxing with Mike Tyson. Like cold ones. Bro. Hot ones. Fucking the official podcast. So those are those are some catchy fucking names, bro. Those are some catchy fucking names. Um, 
yeah, Jerry podcast. I I guess I'm just going to stick to the to the Jerry podcast. But yeah, man, like this has been the Jerry podcast. You know, it's been fucking, it's been amazing. Like starting off my first episode with this shit. Started off with a bang, man. I was shot. I, I even shotgun my second time. I, I I sort of did it. Sort of like fucking um. What you would call it? Like actually did it because I, I like I said I kind of kind of fucked up on like the last few chugs, but you know it's I I, I finished the can so you know I say it was a success I say count it, but yeah man, this has been the this has been episode one of the podcast. Um, join me next time and uh, discuss other things. Uh, I don't know whatever comes up I guess. Um, yeah. This has been the Jerry Podcast. Um, peace out, y'all. Love you guys. Peace.